All right, guys, we made it. We're here in Palm Springs. It's kind of a place for all things vintage. We left LA this morning at 5 a.m. We're headed to the honey hole. We've kind of sworn secrecy on this place. We're here to visit Golf Alley, a little spot on Cook Street in Palm Desert. A buddy of mine, Ryan Engel, who's telling me this is like the must stop place. I kind of feel like I'm blowing the spot up a little bit. The world needs to know about Golf Alley. Today's budget is five big ones, and we're gonna see if we can put together a pretty good set with that. I'm Cole Young, that's Marilyn Monroe, and this is Range Pickers. Hey, what's going on? I'm Cole. Cole, I'm Ben, nice to meet you. Welcome to Golf Alley. Thank you so much for having me. I've, I've been here before. This is maybe my fourth time coming here. In April, we took over a new ownership, so what we wanted to do is kind of organize everything together, sprucing things up, but Golf Alley is known for the pre-owned clubs. You get the discounted clubs. It's for the people that don't want to spend all the money to get into the game right away, so you're definitely a discounted store, no doubt about that. Every time I come home with like way too many golf clubs. Yep. Yeah. Maybe we start from the bottom up. Should we start with putters? Yeah, let's, let's check it out okay. back there. I don't know if you remember last time, last time we were in here, a little bit darker in here and there was kind of bags all over the place full of golf clubs and cleaned it up a little bit. Gobble goose. Ryan? Hey, what's up, dude? <laughs> out here trying to get some Palm Springs breakfast, man. What's up, dude? <laughs> what you Good to see you. Sorry about the donut. No, that's all right. I feel like my putting today, my, my head is gonna be very stable. Yeah. Is that because of your laser? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Did you guys meet? Ben. Um, nice to meet you. Ryan, you're Ryan. gonna be taking a lot of our money here in about 20 minutes, so. <laughs> We're shooting this thing. Mm -hmm. We're gonna try to like put together a set of golf clubs for $500. Oh, Do that's you too much. Wanna help out? You wanna go play the club? Yeah. Try them out? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. And let's, uh, let's find a set and split it up, evens and odds. Okay, deal. You know what I mean? Let's do it. I forgot my wallet, but I did bring my check checkbook. Book. Yeah, so right, you guys take checks, right, Ben? Yes, sir. All right. Let's well, pick let's, out some putters, dude. Yeah. Oh, well, your department's right over here. Taylor made Rosa putter. So this insert was like the precursor to all the spider putters. Mm. The guy that designed these, his name's Kia Ma, mm. and he's like yeah. a legend for supposedly teaching Scotty Cameron everything he knows. Wow. Could be true. Yeah, this one's really cool. If you're looking for inserts, <laughs> look no further. Yeah, you know? oh my god. That's the tailor-made nubbins. Ping pong leather with nipples on the front of it. That is interesting. Oh dog, oh dog. The war bird is back. He's back in a big way, ladies and gentlemen. 30 bucks. Is that like gold plated? How much is it? $250. Might be. We could spend half the freaking whole show on that. All right, so we've got kind of an idea for putters, but like, I think irons are definitely the biggest part of the budget. So yeah. we should try to like, start there. hone in on that first. I think that we also need enough clubs to like evenly split. Are you an odd or an even kind of guy? I think I'm an odd guy. God, I would have said the same thing. <laughs> I'm kind of into these. Zings? Yeah. 190, Ooh. these silver scots. Oh yeah. 110? Yeah. 110. I would enjoy seeing a picture of you as a junior holding these with like a puka shell necklace. With a puka shell necklace? You know what I mean? And a white belt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be a pass for me. Yeah. But I, I really wanna get like a nice jewel with some like wear. Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? All right, let's put them back then. I like that they have the dates here. That's a huge, That's huge actually thing. a really nice touch. Yeah. Do you bargain here? Yes, sir. <sighs> Watch out. All right, so these are Ben Hogan GCD edges. 100 bucks. All right. These are sick. They kind of sit nice, don't they? Yeah. And they I always they. liked kind of like this misty, like champagne finish on mm -hmm. them. That, okay, that's on the list. I love old clubs so much, whether it be wedges, putters, what have you. Oh, darling. What do you got? 70 bucks. Look at that feral, dude. Bob Tosky par maker from McGregor. I'll tell you this if our goal was to make it hard on ourselves, this is pretty much the top of the mountain right here. I think I'm still into the Hogan's, honestly. It, they're just interesting. Yeah. Because they're so quirky and like, it's such an awkward time frame too, you know? I think we should get them before someone wipes them off the wall. Yeah. So that's the set. So this you're going, the set. you're going odds? 
Okay. Where to next, Dad? Let's go pick out a driver. Now that we know that we've like freed up like that amount of budget, unless mm. you think we need to lock no. down a putter. No. Putters. You I can mean, putt with a wedge. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's do that. What are we looking for? Well, I think we're staying in the same theme, right? We want something relatively uh, hard to hit. Hard to hit. Not good for us. Yeah. Because like, do you like hearing things? Because we've got this Nike Boy, Sasquatch. I've, I've heard right those in the past, and uh, wow. I really wish there was a way to like well, explain to the people at home. Put that. We're not buying that. That red hot chili pepper is looking look pretty at. nice right there. <laughs> This is a Crank Red Hot Chili Pepper Driver, $65. <laughs> I can see you, can you see me? <laughs> Dang, you this are is old. a big Bertha Steelhead 3. And this was like right when the whole graphite thing was like full on tran over. transferred over. Yeah. And they came out with this as like their last ditch thing. And I remember these shafts were Uniflex steel because they didn't want people to feel like Oh, this is stiff, I can't hit it. And they're just yeah. like, oh, we'll just put a band on there that says Uniflex and everyone will buy it. <laughs> and you're looking at a guy with two thumbs that How bought much? it. <laughs> How much is that? It's 40 bucks. Okay, great. Oh my God. A Hogan Beryllium Copper Special SI. You're such a sucker for copper. 30 bucks, dude. Yeah. Look at that. Do you... Remember these infomercials? Oh my God, the F2 or is that no, the- No, the Spin Doctor. Oh dude, let's see that. Maximum backspin. Introducing the first wedge in golf that will never wear out and never become outdated by technology. The Spin Doctor RI Wedge with the replaceable insert system. Your wedge for life. And it was people hitting off driving range mats and the ball was landing on the cement like in the parking lot and spinning it back because look at the grooves oh my god they used to be made out of rubber so i think we're getting that we <laughs> <get this. laughs> it's this very is, it's very rare i put a copper club this back is for, no you no know? you should hold on to it hold I mean, on hold, to it hold yeah. on to it hold this is 45 dollars, and it has a really sick graphic on the shaft and we're, we'll just share that that will be our sandwich yeah I think this is mine. How would you know? Is the toe worn out? Yeah. <laughs> this is also a tailor-made V-steel, but it's got the steel shaft in it. So this That's is definitely checking in the boxes. our world. Yeah. This What's one here is 45. I think we can which, get them down to 39, maybe. Another steel shaft. Hmm. The four woods are also smaller than the three woods. Oh, really? A little more compact head. Maybe a nice There's divine that. nine. Here it is. Is that it? This is the one. The Divine Nine. The Divine Nine. I, I, we have to buy that just for the sake. I, I just want to see what it does. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is another steel shaft. Yeah. This so one's called the Memphis 10. That's got to mean something, right? And then now we need to make room for the putter. We can Maybe we each get a putter, or we each can pick a putter that the other guy has to use. OK, let's do that. Should we head over there? Yeah, let's okay, do it. Cool. This is actually going to be a pretty nice set. I know. All right, I, I feel like we're doing really well. We're definitely under budget. We've got, we spent 295. 205 left. Can we check that math? I don't know. What did you want to do with the putters again? I'm going to pick out a putter that you have to play with, and you pick out a putter that I have to play with. Let's get weird. OK. All right, ready? On the count of three. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. <laughs> we're done here. You're going to be using the Bermuda. Okay. Bermuda Triangle. This is the Atlantis model. This is the Atlantis model. And folks, for those of us joining at home, this is coming in well under budget at $40. Oh. So I found you oh. an absolute gem. This is oh. iconic putter. Is that even like legal? By the rules of golf, legal? I... This one's $90 though. Ooh. So where does oh. that put us at? That's 90 and 40. We got enough to get a bag. Maybe a head cover. Okay, all right. So, but I, before you make fun of mine anymore, I would like you to just put that at a dress. Oh my God. Isn't it hard to look at? This is awful. Who put that there? <laughs> <laughs> We've just spent 
$425. Got a driver. We've got our fairway wood. Mm -hmm. We've got a little utility wood mm -hmm. and this nine wood. We bought those Hogan Good Clubs Dude Beautiful. Edge irons. Beautiful here. We've got a real wedge. We've got a joke wedge. Infomercial. And we've both picked out putters for each other to try to beat each other with. I so love that. Yeah. that. This is a great little. Real uh, stable. Really yeah. Stable. Yeah, real stable. hitting area. This one, alignment aid is through the roof. I think um, we are hoping to get a bag. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and we're just, you know, just trying to figure out what you can do for us. 425, right? Yep. Oh my god. I know you see the 150. We see it. I'll cut that in half for you. Does it come with all the drivers? No, no, it does not. No, cut those off. Cut those off. No, it does not. No, no, no. Tell you what. We're going to do all this stuff, the bag without the drivers, and a dozen refurbished balls for 500 cash. Let's do it. All right. All right. Good deal. I like it. Let's go I play like some it. golf. Thank you so much. Actually, let's, let's go it. get some margaritas. Yeah, get some margaritas first, and then we're going to go play. Another precious desert commodity, Bob Hope, who will celebrate his 82nd birthday the end of May and hosting the 26th Classic involving Bermuda Dunes, Tamarisk, La Quinta, and the host club for 1985, the Indian Wells Country Club in Palm Desert, California. All right, so the big story on the we got our clubs. We made it. We're here at Indian Wells Country Club. Just uh, waiting for my playing partner. It's kind of late, but uh, yeah, he's around here somewhere. It took you so long. The hell is this? <laughs> this is the fairway chariot. This is a 1969 Cushman GC400 with the Cadillac kit. With the Cadillac kit, the shag carpet, this cassette. Bring your mixtape. This is great because this. Think all fits this. Exactly right. You know, what better way to test this stuff out? Cheers, dude. See you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the first tee? Going with these old clubs to this track, you know, being that it's outdated by length for the PGA Tour, it really comes right into this equipment. This was a Bob Hope spot. Yeah, it was one of the vet's favorite courses. Yeah. 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 And Rick, okay. you got to do it one of these days. You were so close there. Here's your check here, and here's your Chrysler LeBaron. All right. How about that? Thank you, sir. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. This is the, the Steelhead 3 10 degree steel shaft driver. Get through it, honey! Yeah! <laughs> it was just a great control pull, you know? Wow. But that, the, with the old technology, see what oh, happened? I hit that solid 175. Yeah! <laughs> All right, guys, let's just drink up and be somebody. These Hogan irons that we scored for 100 bucks today, in theory, they have not been hit since May of 2002. Ooh. Oh, sit oh. there, honey. Oh, you're on the plateau. OK. All right, where are you? God only knows, dude. So hypothetically, you're dumb enough to buy this iron. Oh, look at that. That's amazing. And you're like, I love it so much that I've worn the grooves out, and I need to get a new one. There's this little hole in the back of the head and when you replace the insert, it's like having a brand new club instantly. You'll this is going to spin 48 feet, 4 inches. Hey, that was the best shot I've done all day on 18 holes. I want to hit this so bad. Look at this f***ing thing. Oh my, oh my god. god, it does it. Did you yeah. see that in the air? It yips. Imagine if you actually hit it good. Oh, he's doing it. I knew he was. <laughs> <laughs> You spun back a 20-footer, dude. Ooh. We guarantee that every amateur <laughs> can spin back just like the pros. <laughs> oh my god, dude. It's nasty, dude. It's nasty. Now we have 
the four wood, the V steel with the steel shaft. I think we got this for $45. Yeah. Real compact head, real nice beveled sole. That's perfect. All right, folks, we're here live on the second tee box with Cole Young. He's taking out the Divine Nine. He's... That was pure. 199, dude, 200 yards. Damn, dog. Right? How much whey powder are you having in the morning? <laughs> There's two golf balls glued to this thing. Where's that going? I, I think the face is broken. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That's good, pick it up. All right, Divine Nine. Oh, that is going to be a spin doctor <laughs> extraordinaire, dude. I honestly believe that if you sat here long enough with this club, you could figure out how to hit every shot with it. The real question is, whose clubs are these? Oh, I can't hit it that far. Okay. 240 total. <laughs> oh, get out of town, dude. Yes. 262! Wow, 150 ball speed on that is Pretty impressive. Oh, look how stupid you look. Just an OG thumbs up. Oh my God. Yeah. We're just inside 100 yards. Again, I think if we hit it too good, it's not gonna work. Oh, it has so much juice on it. <laughs> oh. That has so much spin on it. This thing. The spin doctor, dude. So in 1980, Arnie hit a hole in one during the Bob Hope, which was pretty iconic because he was, you know, past his like championship playing days. And it was his 11th career PGA Tour hole in one, but his third specific one on this hole. And he's hit hole in ones on here before to end up winning the tournament. So every time I come and play this hole, I kiss the plaque over there. You kiss it, yeah? I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay, all right. Well. I do every time I get out of the cart. Okay. No one's watching. You look great. And he fans it right, right next to Cole. What an idiot. Brian, thank you so much for joining us today. Do you mean and that? And having, yeah, I yeah. do, actually, yeah. at beautiful Indian Wells Country Club. This set far surpassed, like, what we were trying to set out and do. Long story longer, <laughs> you know, I, I want the receipt, because I'm going to go return that butter. And, uh, <laughs> You know, that's a wrap, boys. This was fun. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here, too. Appreciate you. I don't think it's quite a spin doctor situation. All right, so we're back at my shop, Metalwood Studio on La Brea in Los Angeles. Spent some time with the fine folks over at Golf Alley. The irons were awesome. We found out that they had been in the store since 2002, which means that they hadn't been technically taken out on the course and hit since 2002. The main like win of the day was the Spin Doctor RI wedge. Thing's spinning like crazy. We actually just tried to take the face out of it to see if we can exchange it, and I think it's glued in there and it kind of broke. Replacing the inserts only takes a matter of seconds. So if you have a spin doctor at home, do not glue the faces in because I'm gonna end up buying them and I'll get upset. My God. If you're in Palm Springs or Palm Desert and you're interested in finding a solid deal for used clubs, I would definitely check out Golf Alley. Special thanks to Ryan Engel of Nation Golf for hosting us at his home club, Indian Wells Country Club. Such a rich history there and very cool to see it. Really fun day and hope to see you in the next one.